Hello Taurus, this is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy new moon phase in Pisces. Happy new moon phase in Pisces. Let's get into it. Taurus, let's get right into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards, Taurus. Let us see. Let us see in this new moon phase for you. This, this cycle officially closes out on the 9th of March. And so then we enter into a new uh, moon phase, a new cycle on the 10th of March. Uh, new moon in Pisces. So new you, new you. So this is a uh, Pisces is the last sign in the Zodiac. This is an opportunity for somebody to really sit on their throne of their emotions and move forward, you know, and move forward from something. Two types of situations source has been trying to tell somebody to move on, like emotionally move on from. Let's see. Here we have the King of Cups. Wisdom cards. Somebody's definitely gained a lot more wisdom, you know, moving through, you know, these phases. A lot of air that somebody's been giving to. We have the Five of Swords. These two swords right here, you may want to go ahead and pick up and say, I've gained a lot of wisdom about a lot of things. What adds to people's joy? What adds to my joy? What adds to my sensuality, sexuality, my fertility, the things that I'm passionate about? Um, and I can, I can, I can see how, what, what other people, what nurtures other people, right? So that's where the compassion comes in. So somebody finally decided, Hey, I need to move on from something. I really need to move on from something. So you're going through a rite of passage when it comes to two situations in particular, that source told you to pick your swords up and move on from. So somebody's finally saying, I need to move on from this. I need to finally move on from this because I'm allowing it to manipulate my emotions. So definitely see. Whatever the situations that you're moving on from, you've definitely gained more wisdom about yourself and you, you're, somebody has made a promise to themselves that they're not letting something cut into your emotions anymore, like cutting into your joy, your happiness, your creativity, your sexuality, sexuality, sensuality, sexuality, your, the things that you're passionate about and the seeds that you're planting. Somebody's like, you know what? I'm not keep, I'm going to not going to keep giving air to something, keep talking about something, keep overthinking something to a point where it's actually draining my emotions. So let me sit comfortably on my throne. Yep. Yep. You're not overthinking somebody harshly judging you, you know, trying to cut you down with their words when you're trying to break cycles, chains and curses. So yeah, definitely see you moving forward. And this is where you're moving towards. Uh-huh. Some kind of partnership in business and or in love. So good for you. Good for you. That's what I'm talking about. Some kind of partnership in business and or in love. I love it. Here we also have the Ten of Pentacles. Here we also have the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. We also have the Empress card. We also have the Justice card and then also the Knight of Cups. So somebody is definitely saying you're no longer carrying other people's burdens, you know, on your, you know, their family burdens. Like, see how this person is carrying something? So you're saying, first and foremost, I'm not carrying my family's burdens. You know, I'm I'm taking the blessings, but the burdens that my family poured into them from both sides of the family, not carrying those. That's what this moon in Pisces is all about, is saying healing, being in receiving mode and healing. And so somebody is definitely hurt, healing from whatever was passed down to you from both, your, both sides of your family. So these two scales right here. You're not harshly judging them. It's just certain things you're not carrying, right? So you're carrying the blessings of possibly having a lot of gifts and talents, but you're, you're learning how to save yourself. So if you come from a family where people just always want, the, you know, where people want them to save, want people to save them um, and, um, and just kind of an energy vampire, you're like, I'm not taking that with me. If anything, I've learned the lesson and just how draining that could be, especially you don't want to dump that into your the legacy wealth that you're creating with your family. And so you're certainly not taking on somebody else's emotional baggage either. So here we have the two of pentacles here. So I see your person coming together in business and or in love. The source is like, I see you resting, definitely letting some things rest in peace moving forward, right? Two and four is, um, eight, I mean, excuse me, eight, seven and four is 11. 11 is a master number. And so I definitely see somebody saying, hey, I'm picking up my two swords, um, getting off the fence of overthinking, talking about certain things as far as two energies are concerned, and I'm moving forward because I'm cutting into my own, my own family legacy. I'm cutting into my own business relationships. I'm carrying all this burden and baggage from 
what was passed down to me from mom and dad. And I started carrying other people's burden and baggage, you know, trying to be everybody else's savior. Come trying to save the day with my friends, trying to save the day with love interest, trying to save the day for everybody. So this is like, mm -mm. that gets you nowhere. We don't have the power to save other people, Taurus. This is where you say, I'm saving myself. I can tell you how I did it if you want to know, but I can't save you, right? I can't save you. So, yeah. So sometimes people don't understand until you completely just say, I need to just go ahead and move on. I can't save you at this point as much as I love you, you know, as a friend, as a significant other, whatever. I'm starting to feel helpless that I can't save you from you know, yourself, because you're waiting for other people to come save you from stuff. Here we also have the Eight of Swords. Here we also have the Moon card. Here we have the Emperor card, the Strength card, the Sun card, and also the Hierophant card, right? Well, somebody is definitely, you know, in a space where you're trying to leave the past behind. Definitely trying to leave the past behind. Here's the Moon card, leaving behind past secrets. You know, about things, somebody trying to leave behind, behind being stubborn about things, feeling overwhelmed, hot headedness, jumping to conclusions. Somebody's leaving behind a whole lot of stuff, learning how to, um, you know, and like I said, you're just leaving some energies behind. Here we also have, like I said, including somebody feels free and more versatile, you know, not so much like I'm going to say something to sabotage myself, not going to call somebody crazy, not calling, you know, um, questioning people's mental, whether they're mentally ill or not. I think by somebody's standard, everybody is mentally ill for real. I'm serious because everybody has been at a point where they've lost loved ones. Um, they have, and, and if you catch them on the lowest point Taurus, then you may think somebody's crazy when they just grieving. Right. So I definitely feel like somebody's on their throne of just your whole thought process. Somebody is on their throne and um you know moving forward so congratulations to you for that yeah you never know when people are going through stuff you know what it kind of looks like so somebody was definitely thinking 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 and then decided finally to put some movement i need to i need to move forward i need to stop over and thinking something and i need to move forward because i'm giving myself a nightmare we have four and six is um ten somebody's been in a lot of pain themselves so it's just like, it's time for you to pick up these two swords because, um, let's put all of this together. Yeah. Five and four, nine, 10. Mm -hmm. So somebody has definitely gone through a lot of pain themselves in the past. And so sources say, when you pick up those swords, to move on from something that's been driving you crazy. Those two swords, whether it was two friends, a person in a place, two people, two places, two things, whatever. When you finally say, okay, I need to pick up those swords and I have the ability to save myself. I got to first go all the way back to where all of that stuff started. My head and heart being at war. Got to overstay, overgive, overgive thought to stuff. I'm confused about it. You know, um, it, it looked like it started. It always starts in the family. It, it always starts there. Somebody just had to learn how to connect the dots, though, and cut ties with any energies that you felt like um, you may have, that may have been passed down to you. All right. Queen of Cups. Yep. So I def definitely see you using this weekend to really pour into yourself. And however often you need to pour into yourself, um, Taurus. We also have the sun card. We know that the sun illuminates the moon, right? So you being in your light, being in your purpose, um, and you're, you're having a big heart and you deeply care about people. So it's just saying, again, I feel like somebody may have gone through something where they may have questioned other people's mental health or being around other people who are calling other people crazy and stuff. And so source is saying to you, operating in your purpose is going to help you to stay focused, teaching other people how to save themselves from situations where they feel like they're looking for someone to save them in some way, shape, from a fashion, two of cups. So I definitely see soulmate energy coming across your path, helping you, you know, with that. Soulmate could be a uh, platonic friend, just so we're clear. It can be a, a platonic friend. 
We also have the page of swords. So whatever was giving you anxiety about something, it's going, it's about to come to an end. Here we also have Ace of Pentacles. And um, I definitely see everything is lining up perfectly for you, uh, Taurus. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. Take advantage of not being indecisive when it comes to your head and heart being at war with each other because Source is saying you, you, there's always the option of prayer. So create the change that you want. Somebody misses you. Here we have Angel Uriel, the Angel of Prophecy and Wisdom. Source is saying don't, recall their, don't return their call. Just go ahead and close out the cycle because moving forward, you are who somebody prayed for. So just in, somebody from your past, whether it's an ex-friend, ex-love interest or whatever, some people miss you. But Source says just close out the cycle in love. Close out the cycle in love because you are who somebody prayed for in business and or in love. And that's what you need to be forward facing and not going back to adding any kind of confusion to your healing process. Somebody's trying to heal from a lot of traumas, you know, themselves. And that's a good thing that you are focused on actively healing. So I definitely see new love coming across somebody's path, but it should be mixed in with the old situation. 55, I'm in, I am evolving. Substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change. A need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Yep. All right. Let us see. Let us see. All right. All right. Taurus. Stress. I release what I cannot control. I release tension in my body. I relax my jaw and unclench my teeth. I allow my shoulders to be heavy. I breathe in gratitude and exhale pressure. Stress is temporary. I welcome stress-free days into my life. I am counting my blessings. Great things are happening to me. So yeah, somebody may have, um, you know, it may have been passed down to you have a big heart and care genuinely for people, but is it at a point where you overdo it, over givers, where people, you put yourself in a position where people take advantage of you. And so when that one energy takes advantage of you, it's like, okay, all that hurt and pain comes out. So I definitely feel like somebody is definitely on their throne of their emotions, just like, you know, at the top of your emotional intelligence and saying, I do have compassion for other people. I'm moving forward, but I'm also protecting myself as well. So here are the questions for the moon and Pisces, for those of you all who may be feeling like, you know, you have an energy to have this wave of emotions that you really can't articulate. The first question is, could you keep opening up and bring, breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love. The second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? The third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? So that's something that you can do is start focusing on since the leading card here is the so that you don't have to step down off of your throne and kind of repeat a cycle, right? You definitely don't want to go into a, you know, a karmic situation where, you know, your energy trying to come in. Um, you won't be able to, you won't know the difference between whether it be, it's a karmic, a karmic relationship or actually a twin flame situation, right? So you want to do the practice of being in, you know, pouring into yourself fresh water, um, juice fast, drinking water, swimming, anything that's going to pour, that's going to add to your joy, something that's going to add to you not becoming, something that's going to prevent you from becoming spiritually dehydrated. That is what I have for you. I will see you all in, I think I have, yeah. I will see you all in the next reading. Again, stay in your light. And uh, keep answering, you know, whatever messages that source tells you to those calls that, answer, that source sends to you. That's what I have for you. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.